Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Neetu Gehlot. I am working as an assistant professor in St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management, Gurgaon. I am from Applied Science Department. Today, I will start my new unit. The name of the unit is the Stereochemistry. And uh, uh, this is my eighth lecture. And the topics which are covered in this uh, lecture are the representation of the 3D structure and the structural isomerism. So, so let's start our topic. The term is stereochemistry. What is stereochemistry? As we know that the, in the stereochemistry, we studied the structure of an organic compound in three dimension. So the or we can say that uh, stereochemistry is the study of three dimensional configuration of the atoms that make up molecule and the way in which the arrangement affects the physical and chemical properties of a molecule or other way that the stereo means these are the there are the three dimensionality so stereochemistry is known as the three dimensional chemistry or 3d chemistry so that it is the chemistry of arrangement of atoms in space in 3D structure and its effects on physical, chemical and biological properties. The or uh, in the one sentence, we can say that the presentation of compound in 3D structure. Here, I take a simple example. This is the carbon compound and uh, here the two lines these two lines are in a plane but this part and this part one uh, this part is called the vas line and this is called the dash line so we can represent at uh, this uh, the here this line in the plane of the page this part it comes forwards out of the plane of the page it means in the front and this part it goes backward out of the plane of the page it means behind okay so in this structure there are two bonds are drawn in the plane so the page of in the plane of the page one bond is drawn coming towards you out of the page that is wedge and the one bond is drawn going away from you. It is the behind the page. So that it is called the dash. Or this uh, theory is called the wedge and dash theory also. So your representation is the wedge and, uh, wedge and dash representation. So uh, we know that uh, it is very difficult to convert the 3D structure uh, or we can say that uh, represent the 3D structure on a plain paper or the whiteboard. So it is not very convenient to represent the formula of stereo compound on paper. बहुत मुश्किल होगा कि 3D structure को हम paper पे लेके आए, but इतना भी नहीं है. तो a single method for this, a simple method, sorry, simple method was introduced by the Emil Fischer. The scientist name is the Emil Fischer in 1891 for projecting three dimensional formula of chiral molecule on plane surface. Chiral molecules means the comp uh, carbon compound has a different uh, groups. The planar representation is called the Fischer projection formula. So the representation of a 3D molecule as a flat structure. I repeat again, that is the representation of the 3D molecule as a flat paper, flat structure or we can say on a paper where a tetrahedral carbon is represented as two cross line. Tetrahedral carbon means there are the angle between the, uh, between all angles are the 190 degree, 28 meters. So in a tetrahedral carbon, it represents on the plain paper. So it has two cross line. The atom that are pointed towards the observer would be specified with a wedge and the 
one pointed away from the observer are specified with the dashed line. Here, suppose they are the carbon atom and these are its substituents. So here, this is the vertical line is going back and the horizontal line is coming out the plane of the page. Here it is the three dimensional structure or, the, or we can say it is a tetrahedral carbon. Here the two are the uh, two are the, are the plane and one is out of the plane and the one is the inside of the plane. So that it is a tetrahedral structure and the how uh, and 3D structure. So then this 3D structure is represented on the paper or two dimensional structure is like this. Now the another example is this carbon I iodine. Cl, Br, and H is Br this side and H is the this side. If we take the mirror in the in the front of this side, this uh, compound, so we find the mirror image. Here is a 3D structure. So this is the mirror image of the 3D structure. Then, like uh, it's the first stage and it's the second structure. The, both of the mirror image, and uh, here. This compound is present on plain paper like this, or we can say it is a Fisher, or, uh, Fisher method, Emil Fisher method. So here carbon, uh, these uh, I, I and Cl, here I and Cl are in the plane, but Br and H are, uh, sorry, Br and H, one is the inside the plane and the other is the outside of the plane. So this is the mirror image of this compound and this is represented on the paper or it is the 2D structure. So uh, we can uh, represent the 3D structure in the 2D structure in a plane by the Fisher method. So another example, the projection formula or it is called the Fisher projection also. So this is the projection formula of the two enantiomers. Enantiomers, these are the enantiomers which uh, in the mirror image. So these are the enantiomers of lactic acid. They may be represented as this is a lactic acid, carbon, hydrogen, hydroxide, COH, and CS3. This is a lactic acid, and uh, that is the uh, mirror, so that the the position is convert here H and OH. So it is the R. Like, uh, we can say it is the R and it is the S. Yeah, uh, our projection method. Now the rotation by 180 degree, if the rotation by the 180 degree in the plane or of paper does not bring about any change of configuration. So here, this is the rotation about 180 degree centigrade, there is a no change in the configuration. And but uh, when the rotation by the 90 degree or the 270 leads to inverse of configuration, so the new configuration represent the configuration it represent the enantiomers of the original compound here is the c h o h c o h c s three when here we rotate the 180 degree so there is the no uh, so there is not bring about any change in the configuration and here the rotation is 90 degree so that uh, or the 270 degree leads to the inverse of the configuration. So the new configuration represent the this like the enantiomers of the original compound. Here the carbon, hydrogen, OH, CS3, COH, and the rotation 90 degree degree rotation here. So that this CS3 goes to here, this hydrogen goes to this side, this COH goes to this side, and this is the this side. So it is a 90 degree rotation. So this is the simple explanation of the 3D representation. So now in this uh, portion, we know that what is the 3D structure and uh, what is the stereochemistry and uh, for the uh, week, uh, it is not very easy to explain the 3D structure on a um, paper so that uh, there is a requirement of the another method by which we can convert the 3D into the 2D or we can say 3D uh, into the uh, we can express uh, the 3D at a plane or the board. 
so that this is called the fisher uh, projection method by which we can convert uh, 3d into the 2d so now the another topic of uh, today's lecture is the isomerism it is very interesting and the simple uh, topic of the isom of this uh, history of the chemistry in the organic chemistry we find the numerous organic compounds first of all uh, uh, what what do you know about the isomerism to listen the word isomerism we know that the compound which have the same molecular formula but they are differing in their physical or the chemical property it means there are the uh, organic compound having uh, which have the same molecular formula but differ in their physical or the chemical property so molecular compounds have same uh, uh, sorry which uh, those are the same molecular formula these are compounds called the isomers and this phenomenon is also called the isomerism now come to the uh, here and in organic chemistry we find numerous organic compounds having same molecular formula but differing in their physical and chemical properties such compounds are called isomers and the phenomena is known as isomerism here the compounds is called isomers and this process is known as the isomerism as we know there are the types of isomers so how many types of the isomers are found so there are two types of isomers are found so first uh, isomers is very simple it is called the structural isomerism so in this lecture today we uh, study study only the structural isomers and the stereo isomerism is our uh, goes to our next lecture so that structural isomers now what is the uh, definition of the structural isomers structural isomers what is the definition of the structural isomerism structural isomerism is it is due to different arrangement of atoms within molecule i repeat that is the due to the different arrangement of atoms within molecule and the structural isomerism are further classified into five types first is the chain isomerism second is the position isomerism then functional isomerism then metamerism and then the tautomerism so these are the types of structural isomers i uh, explain each type of isomerism is one by one structural isomers is one by one first goes to the chain isomerism <clears throat> as the name suggest here the chain isomers here uh, chain isomers means chain isomerism this is due to the difference in the nature of carbon chain or the such compounds have the same molecular formula but differ in the order in which the carbon atom are bonded to each other molecular formula is same but here that different in the arrangement of the atoms like example if we take the example of n butane and the another is uh, the isomers of this n butane is the isobutane here we can check the ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 it is the butane because it has the four carbon it is the simple butane or we can say that is a n butane and the isomer is isobutane isobutane or we can say that it is the two methyl propane so this is the example of chain isomers the uh, we take another example so in the uh, another example the next example is two methyl butane there we count 1 2 3 4 so second uh, methyl group is present at the second position so that it is called the two methyl butane and the isomers is with two two dimethyl propane so these two are the uh, simple or best example of the chain isomers i repeat chain isomerism is the compounds have the same molecular formula but differ in order in which the carbon atom are bonded to each other example and butane and isobutane and next example two methyl butane and the two two dimethyl propane these are the chain isomers and this process is called the chain isomerism 
the next type of isomers are the position isomerism yes what is it position isomers position isomers is due to the difference in the position occupied by an atom or a functional group in a carbon chain okay so here the example is the uh, here example is one butanol because the oh group is present here so the it is the name is and four carbon is here so the name is one butanol or butanol one and uh, here the oh is present at the second position so oh, this is called the butanol two this is called the position isomer the functional group ki position change over here and the another example is a one bromobutane here and this is the two bromobutane so this is the example of iso uh, position isomers then come to the uh, third type of function isomers is the functional isomers here the functional isomerism have the same molecular formula but defined functional groups okay here the functional group will change in the isomers so uh, take the first example that is ethyl alcohol no c2h5 oh oh is a functional group ethyl alcohol and the isomer is it uh, it will be the dimethyl ether there count the number of the carbon and the other uh, there are the one two so it is the two carbon it is ethyl group c2h5 or oh group for alcohol so this is the ethyl alcohol and the isomer is ch3 o ch3 here the one and two two carbon six hydrogen and one oxygen here two carbon five uh, six hydrogen and one oxygen this is the molecular formula is same but differ in the functional group so that is this type of isomers is called the functional isomers another example we can take the ch3 ch2 coh it is called the here the three carbon this is called the propionic acid it is called propionic acid and the next isomer is ch3 coo ch3 it is called the methyl acetate now count our carbon and the other one two three here are the three carbon so that is called the one propion three to five to six six hydrogen is there and the two oxygen is there so now count here one two and three three carbon is there six hydrogen is there and the two oxygen is there so these are the type of functional group isomerism now the next type of isomerism is called the metamerism yes metamerism uh, this type of isomers is due to the uh, here is the unequal distribution of carbon atom on either side of the functional group okay so functional group ke sath mein carbon atoms ka unequal distribution is metamerism Uh, again repeat this type of isomerism is due to the unequal distribution of carbon atom on either side of the functional group so these isomers belong to the same homogeneous series here the example of isomerism uh, metamerism there are the c2h5 o c2h5 this is called a dimethyl ether and here the ch3 o ch2 ch2 ch3 the oxygen here then the oxygen is between here are the two carbon atom and here again two carbon atom so this is a dimethyl ether and here we can we count the carbon atom number of carbon atom is this side one carbon atom only and here is the three carbon atom so this is the type of metamerism so here, there is the unequal distribution of the carbon atom so the example is a diethyl ether and the methyl propyl ether now come to the next type of the totem uh, isomers is called a totemerism so in the uh, this type of isomerism is or we can say it is a tautomerism this is a special type of functional isomerism in this type of isomerism the isomers are in dynamic equilibrium with each other these are the dynamic they are the dynamic equilibrium with each other let us here ch3 co o c double o ch3 c double o ch2 co2 c2 h5 this is a keto form here is this the found is the here keto form is here 
yes and uh, here this is the equilibrium here and uh, the another type of the isomers is the ch3 c oh the keto group here they like this c double bond o the keto group is converted into the oh group enol group alcohol group so and the double bond ch ch cio2 c2h5 so in this type of isomers or we can say that in the tautomerism they are uh, there are the uh, this type of isomerism in the functional isomerism in which the isomers are in dynamic equilibrium with each other so here the keto form and the enolic form are found in the equilibrium and uh, here the at the equilibrium mixture the these two forms 93 percent of the keto form and the six percent is the enolic form so uh, they may be converted into keto or the enolic form so this is called the tautomerism isomers so i repeat again at this lecture we have uh, discussed firstly we have discussed about the stereochemistry or the 3d structure and uh, the uh, second topic is the isomerism here the definition of the isomerism the molecular formula is same but the uh, differing in the physical or chemical properties so such type of compounds are called the isomers at the phenomenon the isomerism now the types of isomers uh, there are the two types of isomers first is the structural isomerism second is stereo isomerism then definition of structure isomerism the difference arrangement of the atoms within molecule so the structural isomerism are further classified into five types of isomerism these are the chain isomerism position isomerism functional isomerism metamerism tautomerism and uh, the uh, this is each isomerism with the definition and the example here so chain isomerism means here molecular formula is same but differ in the order in which the carbon atom are bounded second type of isomerism is position isomerism is due to the presence of position occupied by an atom or a functional group in carbon chain third type of isomerism is functional isomerism here the same molecular formula but differ in the functional group next the metamerism here the unequal distribution of carbon atom on either side of the functional group it is metamerism and the last is the tautomerism in the tautomerism it is the uh, tautomerism is a special type of a functional isomers in which the isomers are in dynamic equilibrium with each other so there are the example of the keto form and the enolic form here the equilibrium at the equilibrium the picture of the keto and enolic form the 93% of the keto form and uh, only the 6% of the enolic form so these are the example of the uh, this is the example of the tautomerism, uh, tautomerism. so today uh, we have discussed uh, our first lecture of stereochemistry the basic uh, study of stereochemistry and the structural isomerism so now here are the two questions what is the sorry first is the fisher formula i short note on the fisher formula and the second question is the that explain the metamerism and the tautomerism with the example i repeat again the uh, first question is a short note on the fisher formula and uh, explain the metamerism and the tautomerism with the example and the another questions are also here like uh, write the short note on the position isomerism with example there may be the um, functional isomerism with their example so study you should study carefully and uh, if you have any query or any doubt then you can contact with me now i stop my lecture thank you